Hi there, it's Rick here from Indexicon. Uh, I'm just going to show you a question I had today uh, and I thought I'd make a video to answer it. The question is, let's say you're trying to rank a page of an authoritative website. Your term is dog food, so you send some PBN links at it, uh, such as organic dog food, this dog food site, dog food for puppies, and it ranks well. But then you throw more at it, easy dog food, dog food website, fantastic dog food etc and it starts to go down a bit okay now he says do you think it's going to go down because of too many dog food links or would that only occur when the penguin refreshes okay well this is an interesting question uh, and for sure if you do have loads of anchor text where it's got these money type key phrases and uh, maybe these ones that are a little bit more general but even so they're kind of not the sort of thing that would normally end up as anchor text then it is going to look a bit unnatural. Now I don't think Google's immediately going to punish you with a penguin penalty, uh, either algorithmic or even the manual action. But the whole point is, is this is probably very different to what Google expects. And uh, anger text like that doesn't happen by accident. So if we look for dog food on google.com, uh, we get these results here. Now what I want to do here is to look at the actual sites where, the, where the, the actual domain is ranking. So it's very much about dog food and not just like PetSmart that just happen to sell dog food as well as lots of other dog related things. So I'll pick out Dog Food Advisor. I'll pick out Pet Food Direct. So then you get onto the second page. So you've got Doctors Foster Smith, Foster and Smith. Blue Buffalo, who seem to make natural, healthy dog food. And that will do for the moment. So let's just look at these ones. So PetFoodDirect.com So PetFoodDirect.com I'm going to run um, a link research tool called the Quick Backlink tool on this. And also the other ones. I've actually got this uh, quick... quick uh, backlink bookmarklet here to do this very quickly and the idea is what we'll look at is to see what their actual main anchor text is this is running in a quick mode so you get the results very fast okay so this is the first one to finish um, drsfostersmith.com and um, looking at the anchor text cloud you can see that uh, it's mainly pet supplies is the big one um, and then you've got doctorsfostersmith.com a brand anchor text and Doctors Foster's, Doctors Foster and Smith Pet Supplies another brand link and they're the main ones and you've got things like here you can see pet supplies, dog supplies I mean can you see dog food there? not at all it probably is there if we go here and look for the anchor text dog food. You can see out of the 3,837 total pages, there's only two backlinks that have got dog food in them. Now that's incredible, isn't it? That's not probably what you would expect. So the whole point is by really heavily targeting um, a, a page by, you know, using using anchor text like dog food and stuff like that, it's not necessarily going to work because this is the kind of thing Google is is expecting. So okay, so let's say we look at Pet Food Direct, which I think was the one that was doing the best. Um, it's a very strong domain, but look at the anchor text; it's mostly Pet Food Direct at 93.2 percent in count by the way with this tool you can look at it by count or sorry that was the actual count as in the number of links and then you've also got this power and trust which is a, a different way of looking at it but the two results are very similar and you can see that the brand is massive and then below that you've got things like buy now pet food direct petfooddirect.com so these are all brand key phrases. If we look at bluebuffalo.com and come in here and yeah okay um, 
blue buffalo is huge blue blue buffalo pet food we call that a compound uh, anchor text because it's got pet food which is a money key phrase and blue buffalo which is a um, brand key phrase and beyond that it's bluebuffalo.com blue buffalo company and again if we look here for dog food okay well this one does have 296 pages that have the phrase dog food on now if we look for the ones that say exactly dog food and here we've got four links all in the same domain that have the link dog food and that's out of 16,913 pages okay let's look at pet food direct because we didn't check that pet food direct let's look for dog food first of all something that contains dog food okay there's 30 pages out of nearly 30,000 there and if we change that thing there to equals you see that you've got four links there that have the anchor text of exactly dog food now this is a site that's ranking number one on Google for dog food so I think you get the idea that it's really not all about having your money key phrases in your anchor text anymore it's about enforcing your brand and then trying to do what the other people on page one of Google are doing so if you'd like to see some of these QBL type of reports um, I've got a service on market source where I can do this for you and send you a uh, send you a report or alternatively uh, you could get your own link research tools account okay thanks for watching if you want to see more of this please uh, subscribe that'd be great okay I'll see you soon bye